Hello friends, it's Scott from Plot River Keto. If you're new to my channel, welcome. On my channel, you get to come along for the ride on my keto journey. Uh, check in with you once a week to update you on my keto progress and try to check in with you one other time during the week, usually to share something that I've discovered about the ketogenic lifestyle, but occasionally to share a little something that I've discovered about this journey that we call life. Now today is Saturday, which means that it's a check-in day. So I will check in my relationship with Earth's gravity with you. Also talk with you a little bit about the goals that I have and how things have been going. And yeah, just let you know how things are going with me. So first, um, to check in on my relationship with Earth's gravity, last week I was 329.4, and I did have a short-term goal. My birthday is in not in less than two weeks, actually. It's two weeks from Thursday, so from a couple days ago. So not this coming Thursday, but the following Thursday. September 5th, for those of you playing along. Um, I had a goal to go from 329.4, which is what I was last week, to 323. That was my goal. Um, so this week... Uh, went from 329.4 to 327.2, so down 2.2 pounds this week, which is great. Um, that's what I would theoretically, you know, the accountant in me that likes to see that number go exactly down in line. 2.2 is almost exactly what I'm what I'm hoping to be down a week, and if I did that all the way through the end of the year, uh, again, I'd have that goal of uh, 286, which is would be really exciting, um, and I'm I, I can do that. I know that I can. Now, am I going to lose 2.2 pounds every week? No, but do I do? Th I think I will have some weeks that are a little more and some weeks that are a little less. Um, but this week I happened to hit right on average. So there we go. Um, it was a very good week for me. Um, I'm talking about the things that I want to be doing, um, the reason that uh, that that number is headed in the direction that it's headed. Um, as far as exercise went, had the goal to be wrecking with my 40 pounds in my pack every day with my dogs. I did that every day this week. In fact, this morning, uh, um, I decided to go for a little bit more. It was It's a really hot day today, but it was nice this morning. It was overcast and it was cool. And so I decided rather than wrecking um, with the 40 pounds for two miles with my dogs, which, I, which is what I usually do um, during my work week when I have basically an hour to kind of exercise. Uh, it takes me about 35 minutes to do those two miles. I decided to go three miles this morning, which took me about 51 minutes to do that. So that uh, was a bit of a challenge. It was uh, obviously my body has to some degree gotten used to um, walking with the 40 pounds on my back uh, for the two miles. And so three miles was a bit of a challenge, but it was fun. Um, and I got that done. And uh, one of the best feelings in the world when you've been walking with a heavy backpack is taking that backpack off. And I will tell you that today that was particularly true. When I took off the 40 pounds after going three miles, uh, I was very happy to have that off my back. And it's a really good ah, kind of a feeling. So, but yeah, that's gone really well this week. Done that every single day. Um, the DDPY custom program, I've been doing that. It's been going really well. Um, it's been fun to kind of do that. Um, and to kind of pick my own workouts every week and I, and I plug them in and then I get them done. Um, I haven't really ventured far outside of everything that I'm, that I'm used to doing. And I, I've heard from a lot of people who do the DDPY program. There's a lot of workouts, of course, in there. And I feel like what I need to do is to watch a workout uh, without actually doing the workout. Just kind of watch it, which you can do, and not, you know, not log it like you've done the workout. And then get an idea of whether or not I want to do one. I think it might be fun to kind of branch out. But I've been doing... Um, fairly challenging workouts for me. As I mentioned to you guys during the week, I really have an hour in the morning before I had to work in order to get my workouts in. So I basically kind of do a half hour of rucking and a half hour of DDPY. Um, on the weekends, on Saturday is kind of when I do my long, a longer DDPY workout. Like this morning, I did a 40 minute workout. There's a 55 minute workout that I do too. But overall, it's been going really well. Um, I'm really feeling the strength and flexibility and yeah, just, just really happy with that. The exercise portion of things have been going really well. I'm um, getting up at 6 a.m. I've been doing that every day. I've uh, been getting to bed early, which has been good. I think my kids have laughed a couple of times because uh, Liz and I have headed toward bed, not really quite, you know, sleeping yet, but uh, around 9, which, oh my gosh, does that make me feel old. Um, but yeah, I am in my 40s now, so there's that. I'm, I'm well into my 40s, guys. Um, but getting up at 6 has been great. Uh, going to bed by 10 has been good. I've uh, been doing that, obviously, I just mentioned a couple days, been going to bed at nine, um, but that's been going really well, been getting good sleep, and I can definitely feel that. I can feel that I've really gotten into a rhythm. Uh, for those of you who watch my short videos, you know that Liz actually walked with me a couple of days this week, which was great. Um, couldn't get her to go with me on Friday, but she did go Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, so she actually had a walking streak this week, which was great. Um, 
And she actually slept in again today. Maybe I'll get her to go uh, walking with me tomorrow. But uh, overall, that's been really good. Exercise has been good. Uh, sleep's been good. I've been taking care of myself. So yeah, um, as far as nutrition, uh, that's been going really well. Also, I've uh, been getting in my two meals a day, been focusing on uh, you know eating meat and keto-friendly vegetables and not really doing much else. Um, we're having a get-together with my family, uh, my sisters in town and my brother. We're going to do that tonight. And... Uh, so I had to kind of plan ahead a little bit for that, but I'm, I'm going to definitely have, you know, keto food that's available for me. We're actually going to celebrate my niece's birthday. And so that should be fun. And, uh, Liz and I, uh, I just, I just got an order in actually of keto brick, which is one of the keto products that I use. I think I might bring that with me so that I have something uh, while everybody else is having birthday cake, but I really haven't been doing anything in the way of keto treats. Uh, that's been going really well for me. And overall, I'm just really pleased. I, I've gotten into a good groove again. And I've set myself up for being successful. So yeah, really, really, really happy um, with how things are going. And I'm feeling good about my long-term goal for this year. Uh, I know that the most important thing that I need to do, actually, as it says right here on my t-shirt, is focus on the day by day. So, you know, it it's easy, not, not that it's easy, but sometimes, I don't know about the rest of you guys, but sometimes I find myself kind of getting my head in the clouds a little bit. Like I said uh, to you earlier in the video today, thinking about, man, by the end of the year, I could be at 286 and that would be really awesome. And it would be awesome. And it's good to have that, that thought in my head and it's motivating for me. Um, but if I dwell too much on it, uh, sometimes that can actually be kind of a, it kind of reverse itself and be a negative for me where it's like, oh my gosh, I'm so far from there. Um, and I end up, you know, throwing in the towel early, so to speak. So I need to take my own advice here on my on my shirt, uh, what I say to you guys every single time. Uh, but that's uh, focus on the day by day, um, day by day, keeping calm and ketoing on, uh, as I always like to say. So yeah, that's my update uh, for me this week. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you're getting back into the swing of things. Uh, for those of you who have kids, uh, they are probably either in school or about to be in school again. Uh, mine are both back in school. Uh, my son is enjoying his freshman year of college, and my daughter's back at uh, high school, and of course my wife is teaching at the high school. So we're kind of really into our fall routine. Um, it was interesting for me as I was, um, I, I keep a spreadsheet, as should be a shock to no one, uh, as I am an accountant, I keep a spreadsheet of my um, my goals and how things go, particularly with my relationship with Earth's Gravity. I was looking back over my spreadsheet and kind of seeing where I was uh, this time last year, and um, the month of August was a really not good month for me last year. I kind of took my, the summer, um, success and kind of gave it all back in the month of August and then spent the rest of the year trying to get that back. And then of course I gave it all back last tax season. I've spent this summer trying to get it back. And, um, so I've, you know, obviously, uh, had some good success taking some weight back off during the summer. I'm headed into the fall doing the same thing. And, you know, I... I was pleased to see that, uh, you know, that last year I, I kind of had a struggle in this time of year and this year I'm really kind of pushing through that. Um, but you know, one of the biggest things for me, and I'm going to continue to think about this and continue to talk to you guys about this and talk through my thoughts on this particular, um, part of my journey, but that is finding a way when life gets really stressful as it often does, it definitely will for me tax season. I know that, um, finding a way to actually maintain so that I don't give back that 20 pounds, that 30 pounds, that, you know, even 10 or 15 pounds. Uh, Cause then, you know, you have to lose that same 20 or 30 or whatever pounds over and over and over again. And uh, that can kind of lead for you to be in a stagnated place. And that's kind of what it's been for me. You know, I, I've been somewhere between uh, 300 and 330 for about the last year or so as I've, you know, given some back and taken some off and given some back and taken some off. So that's really gonna be a focus for me this fall, um, you know, this fall headed into the winter, particularly um, before the end of the year, I'm going to really do some thinking about how to be successful uh, when I have a lot of stress. And, you know, I found a few things and I've mentioned them to you guys, ways that I can kind of, you know, end my day, like there's a DDPY stretch that I can do at the end of the day, uh, reading at the end of the day. Um, but really, uh, a, a part of it for me is just finding a way to cope with the things that happen in life, because they happen to all of us, and they're always going to be to be there. Um, but the way to cope with those things as they happen, not by using food, but by by using other things to manage my stress. Um, you know, I had a thought this week, and I, I feel like I shared that 
on my Facebook page, but I, I don't think I've actually talked to uh, those of you who follow along on my YouTube channel. And the thought that I had this week was that I think I've spent a lot of my life feeling like if I could just make it, then life would be easy. And um, I was, I, I wish I could, I didn't know, I don't have it in front of me. I wish I could actually remember the, the, the quote, but I've been, I've been reading some books. There's a book called The Comfort Crisis by Michael Easter. Um, I was listening to a podcast with uh, Joe Rogan. Uh, I'm trying to think of who he was talking to. It might've been Steve Ranella, it might've been somebody else, but uh, just talking about how, you know, we as people need to be pushing ourselves and, and, that, and that life is supposed to be challenging. Um, the, the book, The Comfort Crisis, talks about how we really, in a way, have a crisis of being too comfortable and that we should push ourselves to do hard things. And that just got me thinking about, in my own life, how, how way too much in my almost 44 years, um, I've, I've, not that I haven't done hard things, not that I haven't been willing to do hard things, but I think that the trap that I've fallen into is thinking that if I could get through these hard things, if I could get to a certain place and make it, um, that life would then be easy. And I just don't think that's how life works. And I'm not saying that it's always supposed to be so hard that we feel like we can't take it, but it is supposed to be challenging. And, you know, even as I think along this health journey, I'm going to get where I want to be. I'm going to get there. I'm going to have a one in front of, you know, my relationship with Earth's gravity. And I'm going to be to a point where I'm not going to be wanting to lose weight anymore. Um, but when I get there, that doesn't mean that my life is all going to be rainbows and lollipops. I, and, and I think for too much of my life, I have thought that if I could just get the right job, if I could just find the right diet, if I could just whatever, fill in the blank, then, then life would be easy. And um, I think that that's a way of setting myself up for disappointment. And so I've really been trying to focus on being okay with with things being hard and being challenging and actually doing things that are hard and challenging on purpose you know going rucking three miles with my 40 pound backpack instead of two miles um so yeah that that's something that i've been thinking about and you know uh, i think that can be a helpful thing from a mindset perspective for me as i go into a stressful time of year that quite frankly life is supposed to be hard some of the time and I, I think that, that part of the reason I struggle sometimes during tax season is that I had, would hope that somehow I don't have to deal with that difficulty or stress. But we all do. No matter, no matter what it is that, that you do or, or where you're at in life, there are things that are, that are stressful to you. And it, my stressful things might seem really easy to you or um, they might sound really hard to you. Uh, your stressful things might seem like not that big of a deal to me. They might seem like a huge deal to me. I'd never want to deal with whatever it is you're dealing with. Um, but we all have those things that make our life challenging. But rather than trying to avoid those things, um, we can lean into them. And, and I think that as we do that and, and as we change our perspective, as I change my perspective on that, I think it will help me to be more successful. Um, that's what I wanted to share with you guys today. Hope you're having a fantastic week and setting yourself up for a great uh, upcoming week. Day by day, keep calm and keto on, my friends. I'll talk to you again soon.